you know the slogan, you know the game, and you know you <laughs> want to be called to come on down on The Price is Right. The actual retail price, $19.99. Derek, you are the winner number one on The Price is Right. I love it. Our Derek James was called down to contestants row once upon a time, and he made it to the big wheel. He caught up with the show's current host, Drew Carey, about the iconic game show and his time on stage. And now, here's the star of the place is right, Bob Parker! So, the reason I'm dressed like this, Drew, today is 18 years ago, in this shirt, I was a contestant on The Price is Right. Wow! $1,000 to Derek. $1,700, Bob. $1,700. I was one of the first four called down, played swap meet. Howdy, Derek. Pleasure to meet you. It is a pleasure to meet you, and you are from Wisconsin. Yes. And uh, lost on swap meet because I didn't know the difference in the prices of uh, binoculars and guitars. Do you hear that, audience? Yes. That is not a happy sound. No, it's not. That is the sound of shock. Yes, it is. I, that... I did not know that those were the same, so I did not win on my game. But don't give up. Now, you're still going to spend the big week. It was probably the most fun and also the most nerve-wracking thing that ever happened, including the day I got married. Wow. Spin that wheel, Derek. You can tire. One spin. No, Derek, thank you for being thank on the you, show. Bob. Well, and you're doing Prices Right at Night, Wednesday nights, right here on WCCO. And I know you've got a bunch of geniuses for this next episode. Uh, what makes you a genius? Let's find out. Well, you know, I have a Harvard PhD. Uh, I won two gold medals for the United States in the International Math Olympiad. And now I'm a math professor. You've got a couple other uh, episodes coming up. I know you're going to do one with uh, service workers, which is very cool. And then you've got a bunch of super fans, too. Yeah, the service workers one was good because, you know, uh, I, I used to work for tips and uh, we wanted to see, it was all people that worked for tips. So there was bartenders, valets, uh, uh, food servers, uh, all stuff like that. Everybody that worked for tips. And it was like mostly all cash Back games. Like we give them the biggest miles. tip of their lives. And then the, um, the super fans one, we thought like, oh, how could somebody, I wonder how people would do if they were really super fans of the show, if they would know every game and be able to beat us. And man, not only did they beat us, you would love it since you've been on the show, since you know what it's like. Not only did they beat us, but they beat us so soundly and so handily, it wasn't even a contest. We were actually laughing backstage in between the commercials, just like shaking our heads like, wow, like we had no chance. It was unbelievable. I'm sure you feel like this is something that you just will continue to do as long as you possibly can. I mean, why not? You know, I'd be a, I'd be a fool <laughs> to not want to do this for a living. It's pretty fun. Awesome. Well, Drew, we're looking forward to more episodes of The Price is Right at night, Wednesday night, seven o'clock here on WCCO. And just to show you how much of a freak I am, I also dressed as Rod Roddy on WCCO News this past <laughs> Halloween. Actually, this is Rod Roddy broadcasting. <laughs> That's for actually the price a great impression. Ride, a Mark Goodson television production. I, I mean, I got the jacket. Why not? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's oh, weird. Yeah. Uh, when I when I first became a Halloween costume for people, it kind of freaked me out. But now I'm now I'm kind of used to it. People dress as me too. They put on dark glasses. Look, you, it, you're it. next for me. I just got to figure out how to do the facial hair. That's that's not something you can do well typically without like a real good designer. Well, you can do uh, you know you can do old Drew Carey. You don't have to do the new. It's like <laughs> well, I'm like Elvis true. now. You can do like fat Drew, skinny <laughs> Drew. <laughs> <laughs> How excited. You know what? Bob, meeting Bob Barker must have been exciting, too. That was. I mean, it was a, that whole experience is incredible because you grow up with that show, mm -hmm. especially yes. those mm -hmm. sick days. You get to see the entire yeah. show when you're a kid. We didn't have DVR, you know? You had to watch it. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, did you, uh, what did you win? Yeah, we didn't hear. So the first item up for bid was an HDTV, which Ooh. at that time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was, well, I was still a two. Yeah. And when yeah. they delivered it to the house, it took like two or three people to <laughs> lift the thing. 
still and do really, you remember how much it was? So the it actual retail price yeah. was nineteen ninety nine, and oh. I bid seventeen hundred on it. That's so that's how I got it. You can get there. like the biggest TV now for yeah, three hundred bucks. That's crazy. Yeah. No kidding. And so, wh how did you get on the show? What was that process? So my wife had gone before with some friends, and she said, you know, I know you're as big a game show fan as I am, so let's go do this. But you're, we're gonna have to get up and be out there at one or two o'clock in so the morning. So you do have in to line. stand in line. You can't go online and I register. I think it's changed anything. now, uh -huh. post post COVID. But at that time, yeah, you're in line for hours and hours and hours, and you just end up talking to people from all over the country who share the love of, the, yeah, of this yeah. show. And there are a lot of people. Yeah. And is it, how do they choose who to come on down? So you're interviewed in line, you know, underneath your name tag, there's a number that gets ripped off when it's time for the taping of the show. And so they basically go through and ask every single person in line a couple questions. Who are you? Where are you from? What do you love about the show? And they're doing some sort of, and I'm sure it changed every day, hand signals. And there was someone <laughs> typing in wow. information next to that casting producer. Oh, like we producer. want this person because yeah. this person has is interesting or a character. Yeah, or exactly. looking at that too. Do you know why they chose you? Do you have any idea? Were you crazy? <laughs> well, you did say <laughs> you were a freak. Like a Those were your yeah. <laughs> well, and I also mentioned that I had because prior to dressing up as Rod Roddy, I had dressed as Bob Barker oh, dear. at oh, an God. 80s <laughs> club. For Halloween one year, so I had that. I mean, I mean, very tan, sprayed white hair, the whole deal. They were, they were hoping that would get brought up on stage. It had to be. Wow. Now, quickly though, we had that wheel at the state fair. That is hard. That is very really heavy. heavy. Yeah, and they tell you right before that segment of the show, everybody that's that's there. To grab as mm -hmm. high as you possibly can and with as enough force as you possibly can, because if it doesn't go all the way around, you have to spin it again. And not only that, they're trying to keep that show sure. on time. Sure. My I'm God. so glad you were able to share that with us <laughs> and also to tell us about what's coming up later this week. That's cool. Yeah. All right.